What's going on, Bear Handians? Bear Hands here, bringing you part two of my first time through the King's Cup challenge. And we're going to just jump right in here. You know the name of the game. We get a random deck every time. We try and figure out how to use it and crush our opponents. We have six wins and one loss. Let's see if we can get all the way to 12. You're with me the whole time through this ride, so let's give it a swing here. Battle number eight for us. We have got the Witch Balloon deck of doom with the Rage spell. This is going to be fun. Let's see if we can make this work. I'm going to split my minions in the back. He is going to throw down a Witch, which tells me... Witch? Witch tells me we're probably playing against the same deck. So I'm going to defend at this point. Go ahead and throw down my Archers. He's going to Rage, which seems questionable to me. And then we're going to throw down a Valkyrie so that this doesn't get too ugly. Okay, uh, dragon. I'm gonna throw ice spirit and minions down. Which allows the dragon to retarget onto my minions. Really poor play right there. Uh, we should take out the dragon without him getting too many hits. And then we're gonna do a slow push with the witch in the back. So he's tacked on a little bit more damage than I have. But that's okay. That's okay, right? We know what he has. Let's do it. Let's make him freak out. And then I'm going to be able to cycle back around to my minions. Come on, minions. Come on, minions. He is going to freeze them with the ice spirit. Is he going to be able to kill? Is he all the way down to 800? 737 so very good job on his push there but look at this look at this over here on the tower let's go ahead and zap here and our archer is going to snipe it away check it out our only balloon push of the game and we are going to be able to take him out for a three crown win take that <laughs> all right this episode's starting out good let's jump into our eighth win let's just go into win number eight <clears throat> against the dark knight Oh, a golem log deck. <clears throat> you know, this wants us to play the elixir pump in the back over here. And, okay, so we're playing against, again, the balloon deck. So we need to be really careful about how we play this stuff here. Let's get our archers. A money fireball. Fire spirits. And take out this witch here. Let's go ahead and get the musketeer down. And we take minimum damage there. Maybe that musketeer was a waste. What do you think? Was the musketeer a waste? He's going to do a good job of taking out our musketeer there. And I'm really tempted to throw down another elixir pump and just soak a little bit of damage from this Valkyrie. We do, and I would imagine that kind of sets him on edge to want to push really hard right now. Let's throw a Golem down. Which I don't think he has arrows unless his deck is just way better. We're going to throw down a Fireball, which is going to connect with everything. And now we should be able to take this out. Let's get a log down to clean up this mess. I think he has minions, which our fire spirits should be able to deal with. Hopefully the fire spirits... Oh, he was able to zap there, but... The archer is going to deal work, and then... I'm just... Because I'm going to have golemites here in a moment, throw down my minion horde. If he doesn't get his witch down immediately, he is going to be in trouble, and the minion horde is going to eat that tower alive. Look at that... Look at that ice spirit get pushed back. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, so we're going to play an elixir pump... Two tiles up from our tile, uh, from our tower here, so that if he plays... Actually, that's not going to do anything. Let's go ahead with a golem here on the left-hand side in case he pushes it. He is going to change towers and go over here, uh, which is interesting. Let's throw our archers over here. Let's do the same thing as we've been doing, because, man, it is hurting him. Look at that. He just did the same thing over and over again. I don't understand that. Guys, don't do that. Don't do the same thing over and over again. <clears throat> He's unable to deal with our minion horde. Let's 
go ahead and throw this down. The golem is still alive, so let's back it up over here. Let's go ahead and throw our minion horde down on the balloon, which he overcommits to, but he didn't have any time remaining. And though we were unable to get the three crown, that was a pretty convincing battle against the Dark Knight, putting us at eight wins. Battle number nine, or win number nine, battle number ten. I've got a minor three musketeer deck with a mirror. This is the deck that dominated us and we lost against. Okay, we know he has a fireball if his deck is the same as our last deck. So we want to chip damage over here. There's three musketeers. Let's zap. Get in there, fire spirit. Okay. He shut us down big time. Uh, what I'm going to do... No, 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 no! I made a serious mistake. Wow, but the tower had locked onto his musketeer. So we're only going to take chip damage, really, from his musketeer over there. And I do not like the looks of playing against the same DAC. Because then I look bad if I lose. It's like he just played the thing better than I did. <clears throat> and look at that. I play that too late. I'm going to throw down an elixir pump over on the right-hand side. Because he is getting way ahead in the elixir game. And at this point, I just need to play really good defense. <clears throat> Three musketeers. Okay, how can I do this? I need to go minor zap. And then, no, no, look at that. He's just going to take our tower out like nobody's business. Let's get our... Wow, he goes right into the back of our tower over here. So we're going to be forced to mirror our knight, and we are getting manhandled. I'm going to throw minions down over here. Uh, and anticipate his fire spirits so let's go ahead and get our zap spell ready and zap and we're too late wow 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 just poor placement all right he throws down an elixir pump so let's go ahead and just throw down the three musketeers and his minion horde is going to shut them down Let's get a knight down over here. Let's get a minion horde down over here. And then let's throw him for aloof and minion horde fire spirits. Guys, he got me good. He got me good. Come on, get the tower. Get the tower down. I don't feel good about that at all. Okay. <clears throat> he took advantage of the fact that I did not have Fireball. And I did not. I did not take advantage of it. <clears throat> all right. Jumping in against Swaggy Muffin. If we lose one more, we're gone. And we've got this Dark Prince Lightning deck, which I do not really like all that much. So let's go ahead and put the pressure on. He's going to throw down a golem. So let's get all the rush we can get, and we pay for it dearly. Our Dark Prince is going to be able to splash the tower, though. Our archers are going to hit quite a few times, bringing the tower all the way down to 1,000. So all is not lost. What we need to do is get our Lumberjack and minions over here to deal with this golem. And yikes. No, we throw our skeleton army down only to die a miserable death to the golem. And we have got nothing. What are we supposed to do against the minion horde with this deck? Nobody knows. Throw our archers down. They're going to clean up the rest of those minions. The golem is going to do work. And then we can still rush that tower over there on the right if we're sneaky and salvage this. 
and I believe now is the time. Let's go Lumberjack, minions. He logs, but the Lumberjack keeps on going. And then we've got Raged Minions bringing the tower all the way down to 313. Which, our Lightning Spell does 346. Okay, so we can shift the tension over to the left side just as long as we remember. I'm going to go ahead and soak damage from this Musketeer over here. Go ahead and throw a Goblin Spawner on the left. And what do we got here? What is going to be his answer? Okay, we're gonna do mi we're gonna do the skeleton army first, then archers, then minions and a lumberjack back here. Small units over here. Skeleton army over here. Oh my goodness! Oh, it hurts so bad. How are we supposed to get through this? Yikes! Let's go ahead and get the spawner over here. How does he have enough elixir to do that? I do not understand. My mind is blown! Let's go ahead and get these here. Minions. The golem is just going to waltz up to my tower with me not being able to do anything against it. He is going to poison. Man, that's insane. Okay, let's get our dark prince down. Let's get this down. Even if I lightning out his tower on the right-hand side, I'm not going to be able to do anything, but let's just do it just for fun. Lightning that tower out, and then we'll say good game. Well played. Swaggy Muffin, you just ate my tower to pieces. Didn't have a fireball, didn't have nothing. Interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and see what it get from our 8-win challenge. We have got some gold. 880 gold is pretty good for a free chest. We have got four fireballs to taunt me for not having a fireball for the minion horde. We have got 34 ice spirits, which is awesome because that takes us pretty far up there. And that's it. We get ice spirits, fireballs, all of those things I would have liked in my last game. So, fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is going to be a little bit shorter of a video, but it would have been longer if I was any better. But, you know, we're not. I really like the King's Cup. It's going to be five gems to play it in the future, and I don't know what's going to happen when it ends in one day in 11 hours. Are they going to come out with a bunch of new decks that we can try playing with? Is it just going to continuously cycle new decks? I don't know. I'll be playing around with it just because it's kind of casual. It's not really all that competitive, and I really like that about it. Sometimes it's nice to be able to jump into the game and just enjoy the game for the game and not worry about winning, losing, things like that. Just accept the fact that I don't have a fireball and the minion horde is going to just eat me alive. Hope you like this video, though. Thanks so much for stopping in. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And that way you can come back and see the more cool videos like this on Clash Royale. I play other games, but not very much. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.